welcome back. Stoss23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today I have for you my top 10 favorite lightweight EDC pocket carry fixed blades. And what these are to me are those discreet, unassuming fixed blades, all of them under four ounces, including their sheaths. Easy to drop in the pocket, wear as a neck knife if you want, thin profiles and uh let's do it uh none of these aren't in particular order but we'll get started number one we have one coming from ferrum forge this is the ferrum forge lackey this is a pretty small uh budget friendly fixed blade um this particular one is in d2 steel they also have one in 9cr if you want a stainless version um nice little drop point these come in at 60 bucks you have a little slab of g10 on there nice small very slender overall package with the uh, sheath and you can have yourself a little fixed plate on you uh, without a problem you could also wear it as a neck knife i wouldn't wear this mine as a neck knife just because it's a little loose in the sheath there my only complaint with this knife uh, even though I still like it, you can see I've been using it a good bit, uh, is I wish the handle was just a little bit longer. Uh, I wear a medium-sized glove, and I have to like really choke up to the front of that to get a, uh, a, a nice secure grip. But I do a lot of cutting with this with the pinch grip like that, so I guess it doesn't really matter there. All right, next up, number two, we have one coming from CJRB, and that is a CJRB. Uh, sea snake this is a it's a little it's a good bit longer of a knife you can see the lackey with the sheets uh, but I love this knife I, I own two of them this particular one is the blade show West special and s35 VN but the one that I'm talking about right now is the one the production model that is in the AR RPM 9 steel uh, great budget steel it comes in g10 with a non-coated blade uh, these things are super super thin and slicey nice and comfortable uh, this is my go-to uh, knife to grab whenever I got to break down some boxes and stuff and especially if I want to fix blade on me or if I want to use that needle like tip right there to do some uh, detailed cutting awesome little fixed blade very lightweight and only 50 bucks. It's kind of hard to beat with the AR RPM 9 stainless steel, $50, and you get a nice Kydex sheath. Once again, like I said, I drop it in my pocket just like this because of how thin it is. But if you want to put some paracord right there, you could wear it as a neck knife, but in my opinion, it's a little long for a neck knife. But, you know, it just depends. You have a uh, drainage hole right here just in case you get it wet on the inside. Nice little package, 50 bucks hard to go wrong there all right number three we have one from giant mouse this is the gmf1 uh absolutely beautiful uh sheath right here made in italy uh you could put it put it on a belt but it's such a small uh fixed blade this one's very easy to carry in the back pocket or in the front pocket it is a little thick but uh not in comparison knowing you got a fixed blade on you right now i just got some paracord tied to uh the fixed blade it's a robust little guy uh this is a vox design uh comfortable it's a three finger grip right here um once again i use this one in a pinch grip you have some a uh, good bit of belly on this one for your slicing type task you know if you're gonna do some food prep or you know have it in your pocket and use it as a knife to cut up your vegetables or you make your sandwich whatever you want nice uh stone wash here this particular one is an n690 got that nice crown spine like the little jimps right there uh, i want to get me a set of scales for it but every time i think about getting them um uh, i don't know i i do like the very light form factor of this and the very slenderness of it so I don't know. These are kind of pricey because of the names on here, Vox and Anzo. Uh, like I said, you do have a lot of uh, a lot of nice finishing work there. 
crowned all around. You got nice chamfers on the holes and stuff. And like I said, nice sheath. These are going to run you 125 bucks, which, you know, I know that's way out of some people's range, but uh, just depends on uh, what you feel like spending. All right, this next one is, I uh, guess it's considered a custom. <laughs> I've had it for a little while now. Number four, we have one from Jacob Creates off of Instagram. This is his chickadee model. And it's a tiny little folder, but it's, I think it's so cool. I've been carrying this one a lot. I uh, put this back on there just for the video because it came with uh, the soft loop. But it's just been in my pocket because it's so, so lightweight. And it is tiny. Uh, you have, on this particular one, you have a crew wear uh, blade. Uh, I think you rock welds it to like 65 to 67 or 64 to 60, uh, something like that. Uh, blue denim micarta. And it's another three, three finger grip. I sharpened this thing up last night and I forgot what it was like to sharpen something with a good heat treat. <laughs> this thing was a pleasure to sharpen. Uh, and it's, you know, it's something you're not going to do any like heavy duty work. Sorry if you can hear my dog. He's acting like a retard. But uh, you could definitely get some small tasks done. Let's I want to show you all size comparison because it's hard to tell. The lackey is a small knife, but it makes the, the, the lackey look like a full size fixed blade. So there you go right there. And these are, being as a custom, are going to run you a good bit of money for, you know, the small little knife. You get a custom Codex, and you, you get good steel with a good heat treat and high Rockwell on it. And the price tag on these are 196 bucks. He does them in all kinds of different steels, so if crew wear is not your thing, uh, just watch out on his site. Nice contouring right there. Nice little blade. All right, let's see. Coming in at number five, another budget-oriented fixed blade. Coming from Off Grid Knives, it is their uh, all-day fixie. And oh, <laughs> this one right here is in D2 steel. And this thing came in ridiculous, ridiculously sharp. Very, very thin profile, Kydex sheath. Uh, made overseas you got some good jimping there you could cord wrap it if you wanted to but i brought this in the woods with me the other day and i'm kind of glad i didn't because it was nice to have that thin package like that i had it in my back pocket and i just was playing around in the woods did did a few feather sticks and stuff like that this is perfect for that cryo d2 man i hope they all come as sharp as mine came because this thing is redonkulous that is the Off Grid Knives All Day Fixie. And you can get this for $44 in this black wash finish and $40 in the non black wash finish. Uh, it also it comes with a like tech lock and a carry system if you want to carry it on your belt, on the side of your belt. But like I said, for my video purposes, I'm going to carry it in my pocket. You can easily carry it as a neck knife off these two if you wanted to. All right, number six, we have one from GTI or Gingrich Tactical. This is uh, his custom necker, and it's just a very minimalistic uh, neck knife style fixed blade. Once again, thin profile, thin sheath, uh, skeleton because there's no handles. He did sell them with handles at Blade Show last year, or you could get this one. Um, the only site I could find these still available was Discount Cutlery. They have, I don't know if it's just one left or not, but it uh, is $67.99. I think I paid $100 at Blade Show. Blasted finish, uh, 154cm steel. Pretty comfortable for, you know, being a small little knife. Um, and the 154 has, has been holding up, you know, fine. It's a more stout fixed blade. It's it's pretty thick behind the edge, but you know, as a good like uh, uh, shop carry or something like that, they could be perfect for that situation. These right here, 
Like I said, $67.99 uh, at the discount cutlery place. 154 CM USA made. <coughs> All right, next up, this one's uh, fairly new for me. Uh, I've had it for a little while, probably a few weeks now. Number seven, one coming from Jonathan McNeese of McNeese Knives. And that, that is his uh, perfect EDC fixed blade. Okay, you heard there, folks. I love the sheath it came with. A nice, thick, robust uh, leather sheath. It's got the pocket carry on there. You can run a belt behind that. And let's check out the knife. Skeleton, uh, skeletonized type knife with a blasted stone wash finish on there. There's the McNeese logo, I guess, there. I can't really see it that good. Uh, on this side, CPM 154, and this is a USA made as well. Now this one's ground uh, be better than that uh, Gingrich tactical knife. This one's a little bit more comfortable for me, uh, but being that you get this nice sheath, handmade sheath right here, and it's considered, I think, a custom from McNeese. These are not cheap either. This is gonna run you $199. And I bought this off, off of Empire Outfitters. I didn't even know about them till a couple, few weeks ago. Well, no, I think I did, but uh, I, I don't check them that often. But I'm glad I did because I like this little fixed blade. Easy to drop in the pocket, especially if I want to clip it to the pocket, that's fine. But, you know, if I, if I don't want people to know I got a fixed blade on me, I'll just drop it in the pocket. This next one is probably the most minimal out of all the ones I've just shown. Coming in at number eight, this is another a new maker for me, and that is Fairly Knives. This is his backpacker in Nitro V, very thin, minimalistic uh, Kydex. And here it is. It's another skeletonized fixed blade. Nice uh, stone wash on it. Comfortable in hand, very lightweight. Love the blade shape. Ground uh, fairly thin for some nice slicey task. The Nitro V is uh, Rockwell to 60 to 61, so you ought to get some good performance out of it. Uh, excellent little, uh, you know, utility uh, oriented fixed blade right here. I may slap some scales on this one because I love this little knife. This one right here, <laughs> made in the USA, is going to run you $120. I don't know if it's considered a custom or not, but once again, I got this one off of uh, Empire, Empire Outfitters as well, just like that McNeese. <laughs> All right. Now, number nine, I know it's not going to be a fan favorite, but I'm, I'm talking about the knife, not the person. So y'all don't y'all chill in the comments, please. Number nine, we have the Jake Hoback Goliath. I don't know where it's made. I don't really care. I just like the little fixed blade. Very thin profile on this one. It's going to run you $165. They had one available at Knifeworks. I know nobody's running out to go get it, though. <laughs> uh, this one has a black coating, 20 CV blade steel. I was using this the other day. I had uh, tags I had to cut off of. Uh, some toys for my daughter and I was using that front portion I would stick it in there and pop it and then uh, I was using it to open up some boxes uh, to break into blister packs I mean uh, just a very thin lightweight easy to carry if you know back in the day uh, when boot boot knives were a big thing this would have been a perfect little boot knife right here nice thick kydex sheath uh, you don't feel it in the pocket whatsoever and you have a, a, a nice a long blade on there for how small it is now my medium size hand I just get a four finger grip on there but cool I know you probably don't care too much about that one <coughs> all right and last but certainly not least we have one coming from LT Wright. it is the LT Wright Patriot I've been having this one for a long time. It's got that nice convex grind on it uh, that LT Wright does. This one's an A2, uh, full, full flat grind. I, I, it's like a three and a half finger grip for me. Um, cool little fixed blade. <laughs> These, I think it ran me 85 bucks, somewhere around there. Nice leather sheath. 
easy to drop in the pocket but I couldn't find these available anywhere so I have a couple alternatives first up my new New West Knives <laughs> Knife Works Bird and Trout uh, this is a custom shop version but one of the G10 model ones like this runs you $219 that's 35 VN 60 to 61 Rockwell uh, like semi crown spine so comfortable I've been using this one the last few days and it is such a comfortable little knife and it weighs nothing. Uh, very cool. Let me show it next to the Patriot so you can have an idea. It's a little, it's a good bit bigger, but the Patriot's a tiny knife as well. And one more last, uh, last one. We have one from Tops. This is the Tops three pointer. These are $89.95. 1095 steel made in the USA this one though is you know uh, has a, a drastic belly on there this is going to be great for you know your uh, skin and game or if you're you know food prep or something like that it's a three and a half finger grip it's comfortable but this jimping is a little harsh I do like the micarta scales uh, with the liner in there I think it looks nice it's a it's another small one it's about the same size as the bird and trout and everybody anybody who's still here one that I just want to give you an update on that would have fit in this but it's not my knife is this SRK LeBlanc knife oh, can't wait for these to drop I just finished the uh, testing of this one and I will be doing the review probably tomorrow or so and spoiler alert I love it God, it's so lightweight. Now, this one is a little long for that pocket carry for me. Uh, but it's it's light. It's just as light as all these that i just shown. Or it's under that four ounce four ounces. But just look at the size difference. And you can, you can tell that he did a lot of skeletonizing underneath there. There you go. So there you go. That is my EDC fix pocket carry fixed blades. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen today, feel free to ask down below. I'd love to hear if you carry any any your like any pocket carries like this that are under four ounces that you love. Please let me know down below. I'll probably check it out. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.